So let's understand about soil preparation for agriculture. If you would have seen the soil, let's say this is the field which is there. So what happens, let's say you had grown wheat into this field, okay, and in April the wheat was harvested. Once you have harvested the wheat, the soil which is there would become topsy-turvy. Now when I say topsy-turvy, it means that it will not, it will be hard on the top, okay, and it will be kind of some part of the soil might be coming out. Soil pieces may come out. Now when you sow a seed, let's say this is your ground level and this is your seed. So once you sow, saw the seed below the ground level which is basically nothing but the soil, what happens is after this crop has been done the nutrients or the essential elements which are necessary for the seed to grow would have been eaten up and the soil will become hard. Okay, the soil becomes hard. So in order to loosen up the soil, what is done is that you do the flowing of the soil. Okay, so the flowing Flowing, as they call it, means loosening of soil. So if the soil has become hard after one crop, you tend to loosen it. What is the reason for loosening it? The reason is that let's say once this seed germinates, the roots will start coming out. Okay. Now these roots which are coming out need space to grow. So if the soil is hard, they will not grow, right? Once this grows, the plant will actually, let's say this is the plant, the plant will also fix in the ground. As these roots go down, it helps them to breathe, okay? And what happens is, that they are able to draw nutrients from lower soil. So let's say if suppose the soil was hard and these roots would have remained up to this level from here to here, the roots would have got what was available only between this level. Whereas this level after this crop would have actually been consumed. So as the seeds go down go down deeper into the earth, they draw a lot of water from here. I'm not sure how many of you would have seen, but normally you would have seen these hand pumps which are used in some of the villages where they dig it deep and they try to draw from the water resources from below the earth. Okay. Similarly, the deeper you go down below the earth surface, the more is the level of water which helps roots to grow. Okay, and at the same time, the process of plowing, which is normally done by a plow, I mean, this is something which is a hand used plow, which is used, also known as hull in India. Okay, so what it also does is that this hard soil, as you run it past through the plant, what it does is that it brings this soil which is at a lower level up, making it easier for the plant to grow. Okay? And then as the soil comes up, you know, when the fertilizer is dropped on the land, it goes directly to the plant. So that's why the process of flowing is very important. 
The second process is leveling. Now, leveling basically means that, you know, once you plow the field, let's say you used a plow. And what will happen is that this plow will kind of bring out crumbs of soil. So leveling means that you crush these crumbs or stones of soil to make this as equi level. Right? And once this is done, then fertilizers are dropped. Because fertilizers, what now what is the use of fertilizer? Fertilizer is kind of a chemicals which are used to increase the fertility of the soil. Okay. 